Well, isn't this sweet? March for our lives. I understand you're holding a rally today. This is June 11th, 2022. You're holding a rally in Canandaigua, New York, which is within driving range, but I didn't want to drive that far uh, because of the fuel crisis. But it wasn't that that made up my mind. It's Mother Nature made up my mind as and it's starting to rain. Okay. So. March for our lives. First of all, I can tell you another uh, George Soros funded group. That's not what I'm here to talk about. Now, uh... Say you want to get weapons of war off the street. I don't know what you mean. I've never seen a weapon of war out on the street before. I actually bid on an AR-15 once. I got it outbid. Um, I think they're a little light uh, for hunting anyway. But here's what I actually wanted to talk about, was not guns. Now, we're seeing one shortage after another. And bear in mind, we're not technically a war. Right? The Russians are and the Ukrainians are, we're not. At least, we're not supposed to be. So tell me. Why are we having all these charges? And what what do we call the supply chain crisis? This is relevant to uh, guns, by the way. What's another word for the supply chain crisis? It's one word that starts with a B. And you're not going to like it. I give you a minute to think about that. Let's go over some of the uh, so-called supply chain crises. Gas, oil, diesel was one thing. That was intentionally caused by the Biden administration. Yet we have arrogant uh, representatives tell us to go out and buy an electric car, like you can go out there and get it in 10 seconds. Uh, most of us can't afford it. We have baby formula. We had those uh, ships sitting outside of the port of LA. Milling around, couldn't get in. Uh, we eat bombings at uh, food plants in, here in the United States. I mean, the list goes on and on. So I'm going to ask again, have any of you figured out what that is? Do you know what another term for supply chain crisis is? Well, look up a term, Operation Anaconda. Not that I have to Sam one. There was one Operation Anaconda. In Afghanistan, I'm talking about the Civil War one. Uh, what is an anaconda? It's a big, mean snake that squeezes its prey to death. Uh, what did the North do? Try to do? They wanted to strangle the South into submission. But well, guess what, people? You're being strangled into submission right now. Only the lamestream media is not going to call it what it is. So what is this where the artifacts of Mars is coming up with? Blockade is the word. We are under block a blockade. I mean the American people. I don't know about this country. This is a very complex matter I have a feeling 
I'm not 100% certain we're dealing with their own species, although it's certainly possible. I have wavered some on that in the last couple of years. I saw the lockdowns on, uh, when I saw the lockdowns, I realized we're being treated like zoo animals. And I was not happy with that. We're under a blockade, and the blockade is an act of war. They're keeping your babies and what have you from getting infant formula. They're coming off our food supply. They're coming off our fuel. That is a blockade. And a blockade is an act of war by definition. Now, we have... You people telling us that we need to give up our guns. To the very same government, and I say that in quotes, that is blockading us. March for our lives. Uh, are you willing to defend your lives? See, giving up your guns right now is one of the most foolish things I can possibly think of. We have been invaded, and I think, you know, I hear it elsewhere too, and there isn't any question. We are under control of some foreign entity. I'm not saying it's from outer space. I'm not. I'm going to leave that open. But we are under control by an enemy force. Well, I'm not the only one who thinks so. A whole lot of people think so. These are not Americans. They don't act like Americans. And as I've said in my blog posts, I call them the zookeepers. Because they think of us as nothing more than zoo animals. And frankly, I resent that. So, and then you people want us to give up our guns? I don't think so. Uh, like I said, I've, I've yet to see weapons of war on the street. Other in parades and that type of thing. And we have our annual uh, Memorial Day celebration where you have an honor guard with uh, rifles and they're shooting blanks. Nobody cares about that. You know, I'm sickened too by what's going on. But it is the American left who wanted to get rid of the police. They want to defund police. And I've seen your uh, shirts. Counselors, not cops. One of the slogans I've seen on uh, your website. Counselors, not cops. And you wonder why you have rampant crime. Well, there you go. And we have mass shootings every weekend. In... Uh, an itchy eye. We have mass shootings every weekend in Chicago. Not a peep out of the media about it. Because they don't care. We have been invaded. And then you people want us to give up our guns to the invading force? Like I said, I'm not going to speculate who they are. All I've said is I'm not certain they're human. Uh, ten years ago, I would have been much more certain. I'm not so sure anymore. But regardless of whether these are red-blooded humans or sick, sick and psychopathic, whether there's something else, we have been invaded, we are under control, and we are being blockaded. Give up our guns? No way in hell. It'd be a lot easier if we had enemy soldiers right out on the street. 
That way we know which way to shoot. Uh, if I ever saw enemy soldiers out on the street, I would know what to do. I'm not talking about soldiers that come here for training or anything like that. There are foreign soldiers on our soil that are here for training. That's not what we're talking about. Walls are perfectly fine. I don't have any issue with that. Uh, but you're going to have to wake the hell up. The last thing you want to do is give up your guns. In fact, you people march for our lives should be going out and buying guns and ammunition. So I don't know who the invading force is. I've said this for probably a couple of years now that uh, we had been invaded. I think it was it's a lot bigger than Republican Democrat. We are under enemy occupation. And unfortunately there's no way to identify who it is or what they are. To give up our guns and this light, no way. Uh, these, wherever they are, they are blockading you. They are starving your babies. They are cutting off full fuel supplies. They are keeping other supplies from getting into this country. Their ports. This is an enemy. And they are in control of the United States. We do not have Americans in control of this country. I stand by that statement. Who, who or what they are. I think it's bigger than this country, too. All, other countries are going through the so-called supply chain crisis. And it's a blockade. That's exactly what it is. So a word to the wise is sufficient. Uh, if you think you can solve this problem by taking away your guns, you're going exactly the opposite direction of what you need to do. Because we are under control, we are being blockaded, the evidence is overwhelming. overwhelming. Term supply chain crisis is simply another word for a blockade. Like I said I might have attended your rally, but seeing the rain coming down, not now. And I have this little rule for myself. I'm not going out uh, more than six miles from where I live under normal circumstances, and it's because of the. Uh, uh, gasoline part of this blockade. So words, words and wise is sufficient. You give, give up your guns. We might just find out whoever this enemy is. It might they might just be blatant, brazen enough to put their troops on one street. Maybe they're human. Humans are certainly evil enough at times. Maybe they're not. I'm leaving that open. We give up our guns? No way. People from Mar March for Our Lives, you're nothing more than George Soros funded group. We've seen this before. It's over and over again, and of course you're always supported by the press. So get that notion out of your heads. Buy guns. Because they may not be making any more of them. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.